Good morning, good afternoon and good evening everyone. I hope you all must be doing good. So today I've got Poco M3 and uh, those uh, India users who is using a uh, Poco M3, if you go and check first, connect the internet on your mobile phone, go to about phone. So currently my set Poco M3 is uh, having MIUI version 12.0.9 and if you see in the brackets, uh, QJF, I M X M I N stand for India variant and India region ROM and white version is uh, 10. Now, for example, if you are not getting update, so today I will show how to update Poco M3 from MIUI version 12.0.9 to 12.5.21 from Android version 10 to Android 11. If I go to all specs, you can see. I have uh, the RAM is 4 GB and Android version 10. Okay. Now, first, uh, my set is connected to internet. I will tap the MIUI 12 version, stable version, but no updates available. If I tap checks updates, still no updates available. And 12.5.1 uh, already released for the POCO M3 India variant. Let me show the uh, region. You can see region is already selected India right now so just informing you for those who want to update like India users who want to update POCO M3 from 12.0.9 to 12.5.1 they follow the, the procedure you will get the ROM but in case if you having any hesitations then do not try to update do not try to apply this procedure wait for the release but in case like Redmi 9T is not uh, getting the OTA update. It is stuck on 12.0.17. Many, many complaints are I'm, I am receiving about Redmi 9T. Now, but I am saying it again. If you want to update, then follow the procedure. Not a hard procedure, simple way, but that depends on you. Now, starting the procedure. If you are new on my channel, you didn't subscribe my channel yet. What are you waiting for without costing a money? tap the subscribe red button tap the youtube bell icon and select all thank you for doing that now save all the internal storage must save the data this procedure will format everything and the important thing is to unlock the bootloader of your poco m3 because this procedure cannot be proceed with a lock bootloader you must unlock the bootloader first then follow the steps and if you don't know how to unlock the bootloader, I will leave the link in video description, tutorial video, watch the video and unlock the bootloader first, then follow the procedure, right? Second thing is to go settings. If you have set the lock screen password, go to password security, turn off the lock screen password, then go to me account in case if you are using a me account, sync your me account once, then remove it and go same way to account sync, account your Google, uh, sync your Google account once and then remove, right? Check the battery should be charged around to 50 to 60 or 70 percent like now uh, moving forward. You, if you have done all these things, then you can simply power off the mobile phone and we require data cable and computer for this procedure. Moving towards my computer screen now. The links are provided in my video description. You can easily download all the required files for this uh, procedure. First of all, uh, download the MeFlash tool in case if you haven't installed the drivers on your computer because the set requires drivers windows cannot detect the device without having drivers so for the drivers you need to download the MeFlash 2017 extract it after downloading it then install the MeFlash 2017 on your windows that's all and we don't need this software for further the, in this procedure, but just for the drivers. When we boot the set into fast boot mode, connecting it with Windows, the Windows will detect the set and will install the drivers automatically. Now, second thing, this is the ROM file and this is stock ROM release for the India variant India region ROM. If you can see here, RFJINXM, R for Android 11 and MIUI 12.5.1. Now, I have provided a recovery 
and with a batch file to do flash the recovery easily first of all after downloading the orange fox recovery extract it here in same folder and when it is done then uh, double click open the extracted folder yes we got the recovery file here and batch files created by me now come back to what's uh, the mobile phone mobile phone must be power off we need to boot the set into fast boot mode for that mobile phone must be power off press and hold the volume down key then connect the cable but uh, before check the other side of this cable must be connected with computer press and hold the volume down key and the set will boot into fast boot mode then immediately release the volume down key yes my set is booted into fast boot mode come back towards the computer screen now now simply double click the number one flash file the recovery procedure will start and it will get and soon the uh, command window will get closed automatically now double click the flash to file but immediately you need to press and hold the volume up key because the set will gets rebooted will start booting so we have to uh, to let the set boot into custom recovery double click the flash to file set got rebooted press and hold the volume up key for few seconds the set will start booting yes already and you see the orange fox recovery screen on your mobile phone now wait for it let the recovery boot first okay finally this uh, recovery got booted and soon you will see internal storage on your computer screen yes now check the storage first double click it and you will see all the folders having the proper names which means that the uh, storage is not encrypted it is decrypted so we can copy and paste we can flash that rom now come to the downloaded folder come back to the main downloaded folder copy the rom file from the downloaded folder and paste it to the internal storage of your mobile phone and now i want you to come to the mobile phone screen tap the last menu then tap the settings here then tap display and uh, bring the time out to maximum and also make the brightness a little bit uh, high so we can see and you can see also now come back to the first menu button after when file get copied on the internal storage of mobile mobile phone disconnect the cable first from mobile phone we are done from the computer now come to the mobile phone screen now i hope that you have saved all the data now first of all tap the third menu button and then select delvic art cache second data and do not select internal storage then meta data and cache just check it for once these four partitions need to be select must the uh, select these four partition right now swipe and when it is done tap back come to the first menu button then tap the rom file we just copied you can see 12.5.1 tap to select the file and then swipe the flashing will get started just wait for it it will take around 2 or 3 minutes and when the flashing got completed you will see wipe cache and reboot system now i want you to go back to the main screen then tap the third menu button then tap the format data and type y e s then tap here we have to do this step otherwise the rom will not start booting after when it is done then you can simply tap the reboot system and mobile phone will start booting into miui 12.5.1 the india region rom basically poco m3 is got updated now finally poco m3 started booting into miui rom and uh, definitely you will see a change miui logo now wait for it the first boot will take around to maybe 2 or 3 minutes finally first boot completed i will complete the setup screen now now you must be happy to get the miui updated version on the poco m3 the india variant go going to settings then we'll go to about phone so here we go we got uh, 12.5.1 miui stable and uh, we got now android version 11 if you see the brackets r j f i n x m i n stand for india region if i go to all specs uh, you will see here same 4gb ram android version 
and must check the baseband version you must see the numbers below the baseband version yes that is good thing that we got finally update poco m3 from miui 12.0.9 to 12.5.1 now after getting this update if you want you can relock the bootloader but still we got the google dialer and the google messaging application but if you want you can update other you can flash the other region rom to get the me dialer and me sms application because the android version 11 allowing us to do that without uh, unlocking the bootloader and if i go further you can see the menu the, the all the apps that are already here in this rom and coming with this rom so i hope that you got helped by this video so do not forget to subscribe my channel do not forget to like this video share it with others thank you take a good care of yourself we'll see you in my next video until then goodbye